days before the World Cup starts and now they say that they won't serve beer at the World Cup. The news is that the, uh, the sale of alcohol to fans at World Cup stadiums in Qatar has been banned. Football fans will no longer be allowed to buy alcohol around World Cup stadiums. This very late decision comes ahead of the opening game in Qatar on Sunday. Qatar. I've been to several World Cups and uh, it's the first time that not even in the stadium they would say for beer. I think it's a bit bad because for me, beer and football go hand in hand. I don't think that should be the decision that they should make. Um, especially when they did have um, plans for international beverages, different tents set up. Um, yeah, I know you can't bring beer inside the stadium, but they were to have it outside the stadium, as far as I know, which I don't think um, that was a good decision if they did stop that. We're not here to drink beer. We're here to watch the soccer game. We're here to watch the world-class soccer. We can get it anywhere in the world. We can get beer everywhere. We can go to any place right here that serves and we have it. That uh, was expected, no? Nope. I think that was expected. Uh, here we, we, we want to have uh, an idea of, of a party, but I don't think a party will be exist here. So I think it's normal. But we drink tea all day. <laughs> So that's normal. Now, FIFA have responded to this. They put out their own statement in the last few minutes in which they have this to say. They say, following discussions between host country authorities and FIFA, a decision has been made to focus the sale of alcoholic beverages on the FIFA Fan Festival, other fan destinations and licensed venues, removing sales points of beer from Qatar's FIFA World Cup 2022 stadium perimeters. Uh, they go on to say host country authorities and FIFA will continue to ensure that the stadiums and surrounding areas provide an enjoyable, respectful and pleasant experience for all fans. So FIFA confirming what we'd heard earlier today. This very late decision comes ahead of the opening game in Qatar on Sunday. Qatar had originally ordered Budweiser stands to be less prominent, but now it appears alcohol will not be sold at all. We can now... Fans won't be able to buy a drink. There had been a decision to only allow alcohol to be sold in the perimeter of the stadium, so not inside the stadium bowl itself, and for limited periods, three hours before kickoff and an hour after kickoff. But now this very late decision, what, two days before the opening game of the tournament, Qatar against Ecuador, top level talks have led to the decision to ban alcohol completely from being sold to fans. Uh, Budweiser, the official FIFA World Cup sponsor, one of the significant sources of revenue, the sponsorship at FIFA, paying what, around 60 plus million pounds over a four year period for the sponsorship. Well, now Budweiser won't have their alcoholic products sold around stadiums. And what I'm being told from a source familiar with the discussions is that they thought actually at this point not allowing alcohol to be sold will create a more enjoyable environment and the Qatari officials in particular have seen scenes of unrest particularly even at Wembley at Euro 2020 with the way alcohol can lead to